I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Peace and safety to the hopefully let. All the sincere Akim scattered across the four corners, pushing this word in sincerity and in truth. For those who don't know, Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father who the world ignorantly calls God. And Yahweh Shai is the name of the only begotten Son who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. And this is another edition of Private Interpretations. So this is 2 Peter chapter 1 and verse 20. And it reads, <clears throat> Knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. And the prophecy I'm going to go into in this lesson is dealing with Babylon. And the private interpretation is that it's referring to the Vatican. Or it's referring to America. And we showed you through various lessons that it's dealing with people and not a place. And now the first precept I want to get in the book of Revelations, chapter 18 and verse 21. And it reads, and like a mighty angel took up a stone like a great millstone and cast it into the sea, saying, thus with violence shall that great city, Babylon, so it's also known as that great city, Babylon, be thrown down and shall be found no more at all. Okay, so now I'm going to get the next precept and show you what that means when it says, uh, and shall be seen no more at all. This is Revelation chapter 12 and verse 7, because you have another private interpretation going around within Israel amongst the circumcision that the Edomites are going to be done away with forever. But I'm going to show you what that's uh, talking about when it say, and shall be seen no more at all. So uh, it reads, and there was a war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought against his angels, and prevailed not. Neither was their place found anymore in heaven. And that's what it's referring to in chapter 18. When it says that great city Babylon be thrown down and shall be found no more at all. Meaning they place in heaven. Because heaven is a condition played out on earth. Alright. Such, such as you see the so called white race. Alright. Which are the Edomites according to biblical uh, scriptures. They're in their heaven. And we and we in our hell. All right, Be, uh, referring to the Israelites. So, going back to uh, Revelations chapter 12 and verse 7. And it reads, and there was a war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, which the dragon is Babylon, the Edomites. All right, that great city. And the dragon fought and his angels and prevailed not. Neither was their place found anymore in heaven. So that's what it's referring to in uh, chapter 18. And it goes on to read, And the great dragon, referring to that great city, referring to Babylon, was cast out that old serpent called the devil, and Satan which deceiveth the whole world, referring to the so-called White man, woman, and child. All right. And it goes on to read, he was cast into the, he was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. So that's what it's referring to when it talks about that great city, Babylon, that great dragon. Okay. Meaning their place in heaven is not going to be found anymore. Heaven symbolizing rulership. So this is uh, Revelation chapter 20 and verse 10. And it reads, And the devil that deceived them, just like we read in uh, Revelation chapter 12. Alright? That great dragon. Alright? The devil. Alright? The adversary, Satan. That great city. All right, Babylon, all right, referring to people 
and not a place. So it says, and that devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone where the beast and the false prophet are, the Edomites, okay? Not the Vatican City, not America. Remember, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. So their borders will be considered the whole earth and shall be tormented day and night forever and ever. Now, going back to the book of Malachi, dealing with the smoke, and I'm going to show you that that's referring to the Edomites, all right? Not the Vatican City, not a place. It's, it's, it's symbolic, it's metaphorically speaking for the nation of Edom. And here's the proof. This is the book of Malachi chapter 1 and verse 4. Whereas Edom said, we are impoverished. Which Edom is the so-called white uh, race, man. The Caucasians. But we will return and build the desolate places. Thus said the Lord of hosts. They shall build, but I will throw down. And they shall call them, referring to people, the border of wickedness. And remember, the earth is given to the hands of the wicked. So their borders would be considered the whole earth. And the people, meaning the whole nation, that great city, all right, that great dragon, all right, Babylon, against whom the Lord have indignation forever, all right, symbolizing that torment, that smoke, okay, referring to the Edomites. Now, going back to the book of Revelation, chapter 20 and verse 10, and it reads, the devil that deceived them were cast into the lake of fire and brimstone where the beast and the false prophet are and shall be tormented day and night forever and ever. Referring to the Edomites, not the Vatican City, man, not a place, all right? It's referring to people, okay? So verse 11, it reads, And I saw a great white throne, and him that sat on it, from whose face whose face the earth and the heaven fled away, and there were found no more place for them, meaning their place in rulership, all right? The them is referring to the Edomites, okay? And this is more proof that it's not referring to a place. It's referring to a people. So uh, let me get the next scripture. Stay in the book of Revelations. Chapter 16. And verse 20. And um, let's see here. Let's start at verse 19. And it reads in the great city. Now we know that great city is referring to Babylon. The great dragon. All right. The Edomites. All right, so it says, and the, and the great city was divided into three parts, and the cities of the nations fell. The cities of the nations fell, and the city is referring to people. Let's prove that. As you can hear, see here, it's a city. And as you can see right here, it says the inhabitants of a city. Okay. So it's referring to people and not a place, man. So it says in that great city, which we know that great city is referring to Babylon. All right. The dragon, that great dragon was divided into three parts and the cities of the nations, which nations also refers to people. Nations. Let's get it. Ethnos. A multitude, whether of man or of beast. All right? Dealing with people. Uh, not a place. A tribe. All right? Referring to people and not a place, man. Because we're taught that nations is dealing with countries. All right? But that's not the case. Nations is dealing with people. So it says the nations fell and great Babylon, the great city. All right? That great dragon came in remembrance before the power to give unto her 
the cup of the wine of the fierceness of his wrath. Now, when you read the book of Lamentations, I believe chapter 4, verse 21, it tells you that the her is referring to the daughter of Edom. That's who's going to get the cup of the wine of the fierceness of the Lord's wrath, man. So, verse 20, in every island, fled away and the mountains were not found all right which re- which is also referring to people all right the mountains and those islands okay and when it says were not found meaning their place in rulership as we read in the book of revelation chapter 12 verse 7 through 9 so let's get Uh, Another precept in the book of Job And this is just proof that Babylon is referring to people And not a place Job chapter 20 And verse 5 And it reads The triumphing of the wicked Which we know the wicked Going back to the book of Malachi Is referring to Edom Is short and the joy of the hypocrite But for a moment through his excellency mount up to the heavens and his head reach unto the clouds, yet he shall perish forever. Meaning his place in rulership shall perish forever. Not meaning the Edomites are going to perish forever. Because the private interpretation that we was taught from the elders at Great Millstone is that the Edomites are going to be done away with. All right, And their spirit is going to return in other nations. Which that is complete madness. Alright. But read knowing. They say. uh, Yet he shall perish forever. Like his own dung. They which have seen him. Shall say where is he. He shall fly away. As a dream. And he shall not be found. Yea. He shall be chased away. As a vision of the night. The eye. Also which saw him shall see him no more in rulership. Alright, his place is going to be taken out, out of heaven, man. His place is not going to be seen in heaven anymore. Such as we read in the book of Revelation chapter 12. Alright. Neither shall his place anymore behold him. Referring to the Edomites, man. Okay. Now... Let's look up this word place. Meaning his standing place. Alright. His office. His spot. Alright. His rulership, man. Okay. Now let's jump down to verse 29. And it reads, This is the portion of a wicked man from the power. And the heritage appointed unto him by the power. Okay? So, dealing with Babylon, uh, like I said, the private interpretation is that it's dealing with a place. It's referring to a place. All right? And uh, the place is the Vatican City. Or it's dealing with America. All right? Which are private interpretations. And as we read in 2 Peter chapter 1 and verse 20, no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. And I uh, hope you brothers was edified. And with that, I'm going to say Shalom.